In this Circuits of the Past video, Herman shows you a drone flight over the lost section of the 1953 to 1972 layout of the bygone reims go circuit in northern France. Here you see where the track came from. Most of the old street circuit is still public road that you're not allowed to fly over with a drone. But this section has been left abandoned, but is now only used by farmers as an access road to their land. Before we follow the circuit, let's first ascend to the height of 50 metres so that you can oversee a large part of the circuit. Now this is a flight sim that I approve of. The Reemsgo circuit was a street track with a permanent pit lane, grandstands and other facilities. It was operational from 1926 right the way through to 1972 and was most famous for holding the French Grand Prix, which it held there 12 times between 1950 and 1966. Alongside Formula One races, it also hosted the annual 12 Hours of Reims. The name of this corner is Annie Busquet, a female driver that died at this very corner in a crash during the 1956 edition of the 12 Hours of Reims. Annie Busquet was actually born in Vienna, Austria as Annie Schaefer. She married to the French racing driver Pierre Busquet. She was holder of the women's speed record set at Autodrome Linus Montmoray. This is a high banked racetrack near Paris and Herman's been there too. 1956 was a tragic year for the Bousquet family. First Pierre Bousquet died in January after an accident on a public road. And then in Germany of that same year, Annie Bousquet died here at Reimsgo Circuit. It's a brutal reality of the sport. After the last French Grand Prix in 1966, the Reims Go circuit was used for national races and the 12 Hours of Reims. Sadly, the track became outdated and closed in June of 1972. The day after the last race was finished, they started demolition of the pits immediately. However, shortly after the demolition started, the new mayor was elected and ordered it to stop. But the first pit boxes had already been demolished and were lost forever. After 30 years of stasis, they made new plans to restart the demolition of the buildings and build new homes on the site instead. Fortunately, the foundation Les Amis de Circuit de Go was founded to save the remains of the old Reims Go circuit. They gained permission to restore the buildings and guarantee that nothing would be demolished again in the future. The foundation translates as Friends of the Circuit of Go. We're now entering the Havet Corner. This was the only left-hand turn during the 1953-72 configuration of the circuit. On the map you'll see a short straight after this corner. That leads you onto the Moison Corner, which in turn brings you onto the back straight. Today, this section has been demolished. That happened for the expansion of the N31 to take it into being a multiple lane highway. As you can see, there is still a line through the cornfields. That's where the old track used to be. Maybe we can get a cheeky RC car through there one day. So here ends our drone flight over the abandoned Reemsgo circuit. 
If you want to know more about the history of this circuit, please visit the website www.circuitsofthepast.com. There you can also download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. For now though, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our next video from another circuit of the past.